again, these drivers get two qualifying laps tonight. They're not allowed to wave off a lap and attempt to make a third lap. Jacob's first lap, 23.145. See if he can pick the pace up a little bit here on his second qualifying attempt. Craig's second lap, a little bit slower, 23.522. Johnny Johnson, car number 99 on the track now. First lap for Johnny Johnson, 22.831. Second lap, 22.877. Out on the track now, car number 22, Donnie McCullen. McCollins time 22.631 he's now our fastest qualifier out on the track now car number T2 a Todd Bennett Todd's first lap 23.429 and the car number 53, our qualifier now. Second lap, 22.536. Seems like everybody's getting their best lap on their first time around. Out on the track now, Scott Kaskovich.
first lap for Scott, 23.432. Second lap for Scott, a little bit faster, 23.186. Track now, car number 21, Elaine Meyer. First lap for Lane, 22.755. Second lap for lane, 22.922. Next out on the track, our number 15, of Brian Burkhofer. Lap for Brian, 23.229. Second lap for Brian, 23.371. Out on the track now, car number eight, a sunny fielding. Excuse me, sunny Finley. Second lap, a little bit faster, 23.357. Out on the track now on the 1D, Bob Dominecki. Lap for Bob, 22.911. Second lap for Bob, 23.040. Out on the track now, the one X of Bob Helm. Second lap, 22.605, out on the track now, number 50. 
26, uh, Gary Webb. for Gary, 22.828. Second lap for Gary, 22.648. Out on the track now, 08 of Terry Husel. She stands right now through 12 qualifiers. Joe Kosinski is our best qualifier as of right now. First lap for Terry, 24.309. Second lap for Skip is 23.598. Out on the track now, car number 52 is Steve Kosiski. Rob Tolan, 23.598. 
Junior, 22.331. He's our new pole setter. Second lap, 23.339. We're on the track now in the car number 70, Steve Johnson.
second lap for Denny Eckridge, 22.972. Out on the track now, car number 43, uh, Kurt Stewart. Denny Osborne. Denny Osborne, 23.071. Out on the track now, car number 45 of Kurt Martin. Second lap, 24.546. Out on the track now, car number 90, uh, Tom Hurst. Tom Hurst, 23.339. 
Out on the track now, car number 33, of what Rick Wenling. Second lap for Rick Wendling, 23.096. Out on the track now, car number 37, a Troy Bruder. Troy Bruder, 23.876. Second lap for Dan, 23.441. Out on the track now, car number 11M from Bill Martin. First lap for Bill Martin.
Second lap for Terry, 22.956. Out on the track now, car number five, with Jay Johnson. First lap for Jay, 23.004. Second time for Jay Johnson, 23.575. Out on the track now, car number 11 of Steve Ein. First lap for Steve Ime, 23.553. Second lap, 23.881. Out on the track now, car number six, a Joe Wyatt. First lap for Steve Vimes, 24.164. Second lap for Joe Wyatt, 24.440. Out on the track now, car number 91, a Danny Aaron. And he is our last qualifier. Unless he can beat Ray Gus Jr.'s time, Ray Gus will hold on to the pole. First lap for Danny, 24.841. Chad Nevenhoven, you're supposed to call home. Chad Nevenhoven, you're supposed to call home. Second lap for Danny, 24.501. Your Bush Pole Award winner for tonight, Ray Gus Jr., driving car number 12. Unofficially, your top six qualifiers for tonight. Lane Myers, sixth fastest for tonight. Gary Webb, fifth fastest for tonight. Donnie McCull McQuillan, excuse me, will be our fourth fastest qualifier for tonight. Bob Helm, third fastest qualifier for tonight. Joe Kosiski, our second fastest qualifier for tonight. And your fast time for tonight, once again, Ray Gus Jr. Out to accept his Bush Beer Pole Award. Your fast time for tonight, once again, Ray Gus Jr. Let's give him a loud a round of applause. 
Regas Jr. out of Milan, Illinois. Coming out on the track now, modified heat race number one. Inside, row number one will be the 37B, Ron Barker. Outside, row number one will be the double zero, Josh Vintage. Inside, row number two, car number 21B, Carl Beatty. On the outside, row number two, car number 9P, last week, Saturday night's feature event winner, Rob Tolan. Inside, row number three will be car number 02. A Roger Tramey on the outside of Roger will be the car number 74 of Jim Near. And in the back, car number 90 of Kevin Depp. Dan Reed turns the yellow light out. Cars lining back up in there, two by two position. Ron Barker on the inside of row number one. We'll set our base for us. We'll see if we can get some green flag racing in here. Josh Vintage, they'll pick the pace up out of corner number four. Dan Reed checks him over. Green flag comes out. Ron Barker in the 37B takes the early advantage into the first corner. Rob Dolan looping it around. Five cars into that little pile up there. Rob Tolan got a little sideways in corner number two, looped it around. Carl Beatty in the 21B made contact. Joe Ross to the announcer's booth, please. Joe Ross to the announcer's booth, please. Once again, we're down to three cars. Ron Baker in the car number 37B. Josh Vintage in the double zero. Kevin Denton in the car number 90. We're changing this race to a four lap sprint. The only thing that is determined out of these heat races is what order you will draw for your feature event. comes out. One lap to go for car number 37B, Ron Barker. Ron Barker coming out of corner number four, picking up the checkered flag. 
the winning heat race number one. Kevin Denton in the car number 90 will finish in the second position. Josh Vintage in the double zero runs third. The track now modified he race number two inside row number one will be the car number zero tim mauer outside row number one will be the car number 75 of bob Salagi. inside row number two car number zero three chuck turner outside row number two will be the car number three of mike gill inside row number three will be the car number 21 of Scott Strawhacker. Outside Scott will be the car number 98 of Rodney Botsmeyer. Back row, all by himself in the car number 72 will be Rich Lewis. Cars lined up in their two by two position. Yellow lights out. We'll be looking to go green flag this time around. Tim Maurer, Bob Salagi will pick the pace up off of corner number four. Dan Reed gives him the green flag. Tim Maurer in the car number zero taking the advantage into corner number one on the bottom side. Bob Salagi in the 75 up high. Oh! Car number 72 into the back end of Chuck Turner. Rich Lewis, car number 72, getting into the back end of Chuck Turner. Turner got a little loose in corner number two. out once again. Cars back in their proper starting order. Dan Reed will check them over as they come out of corner number four. Green flag comes out. We're back to racing. Tim Bauer in the car number zero. Once again taking the advantage into corner number one. Bob Salagi in the number 75. Trying to come around on the outside down the back straightaway. Bauer able to hold him off into corner number three. Tim Maurer in the number zero, running in that front position. Bob Salagi in the car, number 75, running second. Chuck Turner in the zero three, holding on to that third position. And Scott Strawhacker in the car, number 21, looking on the inside, wanting to take that position away. Turner able to hold him off as they go down the back straightaway. Draw hacker sliding high, making contact with the wall in corner number three. Able to keep it under way though. Salaji now trying to put the heat on Timmy Maurer as they come out of the second corner. Bob's gonna look to the inside. Not able to get enough fight off that corner. Maurer able to hold him down the back straight away in the corner number three. Salagi now looking on the inside, down the straightaway. Maurer able to fend him off once again, down into corner number one. Salagi diving to the inside, in the second corner. Slips a little bit there off the second corner. Maurer able to get by, back on the outside, into corner number three. Salagi once again, right back up on his rear bumper. Salagi taking it to the bottom side of the track. Bob Salagi in the 75, running in that sec second position. Chuck Turner in the 03, running third. Rich Lewis in the car number 72, running fourth.
Szilagyi in the 75, once again looking to the low side, out of corner number four, down the main straightaway. Jim Maurer still able to hold him off as they go into corner number one. Tim Maurer still our leader. Szilagyi looking to the inside as the white flag comes out. One lap to go. Let's see if Szilagyi can handle it. In the corner, number one, they go side by side. Tim Maurer on the high side in the zero. Bob Szilagyi on the low side in the car, number 75. Szilagyi slips up once again, coming out of the second corner, allowing Maurer to take the lead in the corner, number three. Maurer trying to take the bottom side to block that line. Coming out of corner number four, Tim Maurer in the car number zero will be our winner. Bob Szilagyi in the car number 75, finishing in second. Chuck Turner in the zero three, running in third. Rich Lewis in the car number 72, finishing fourth. But your winner out of Pearl City, Illinois, driving the car number zero, Tim Maurer. Rolling out now, modified, he race number three. Inside, a row number one will be the car number 89, a Brad Newbill. Outside, a row number one will be the car number 33, a Kenny Consumator. Inside, row number two will be Don Mc... McChesky. Outside, a row number two will be the 6M of Norm McKinstry. Inside, row number three will be the car number 55, driven by Terry Piper. Outside of Terry in the car number 60 will be Robbie Verbeck. In the back row, car number 57 of Tim Hamburg. If you drove down from Wisconsin and you own a red Ford Explorer with Wisconsin plates and SG778, you parked in the back row, your lights are on. Once again, Wisconsin plates, NSG. 778, a red Ford Explorer, your lights are on. The yellow lights out. Brad Dubill, Kenny Constabator will bring him out of corner number four. Green flag comes out, we're underway. Dubill taking the early advantage into corner number one. Constabator. Running for that second position, that car number 33. Don Macheski in the car number 99, now holding on to that third position. Macheski now looking to the inside of Costabator in the corner number four. Don Macheski in the car number 99 on the inside. Macheski able to take that second position in the corner number one. Kenny Costabator in the 33, battling back on the outside though. Chesky trying to pull even down the back straightaway. Kenny Costabater in the car number 33, able to hold on to that second position. Slides high, allows Macheski to come down underneath. Out of corner number four, they're side by side. Once again, down the main straightaway into turn number one. Robbie Burbeck in the number 60, gonna stick his nose up in there, trying to make it a three-way battle. Kenny Costabator able to pull out to a little bit of an advantage in that second position. Verbeck now battling with Macheski for that third position. Verbeck in the 60 on the high side. Don Macheski in the number 99 on the bottom side. Robbie Verbeck able to pull the advantage out of the second corner down the back straightaway. Verbeck in the number 60 trying to move into that third position. Still holding on to the lead, car number 89 of Brad DeVille. Running second, Kenny Costabator in the 33. Robbie Burbeck, the yellow light comes out. We got a car looped in corner number four, 6M of Norm McKinstry. Gets it fired again.
Norm McKinstry showing some smoke out of the back of that automobile. He'll pull it to the infield. Brad DeBill in the car number 89 will be in that first position. Kenny Costabater in the 33 will be running second. Robbie Verbeck in the car number 60 running in that third position. Don Macheski in the 99 running fourth. Green flag comes out. Bill able to hold on to that lead down the back straightaway. Kenny Costabater in the 33 running second. Robbie Burbeck in the car number 60 holding on to that third position. Don Macheski in the 99 holding on to fourth. Five laps down. Bobby Burbeck in that number 60, getting a good fight off of that second corner, reeling in Kenny Costabater down the back straightaway. Burbeck now on the back bumper of Costabater as they go into corner number one. Burbeck looking to the inside in that one and two corner. Costabater in the 33, able to bend him off as they come out of the second corner down the back straightaway. Brad DeBill in the 89 will bring it out of corner number four, picking up the white flag. One lap to go. Three-way battle for that fourth place position back there between Macheski, Hamburg, and Piper. Brad DeBill, that car number 89, will bring it out of the fourth corner. Picking up, modified, he race number three win. Kenny Costabater in the 33 will finish in that second position. Robbie Burbeck will finish in third. Kim Hamburg in the number 57 brings home the fourth position. But your winner from modified, he race number three. Out of Bettendorf, Iowa, driving the car number 89, Brad DuBill. Everybody's back in their proper lineup. Yellow light goes out. That means one more lap around and we'll go green flag racing. Stewart in the car number 43 will pick the pace up in corner number three and four. Dan Howell, check him over. Out of corner four, green flag comes out. We're underway. Got one car into the wall. Up in corner number one, looks like the car number 58 of Dave Eckridge. able to continue, he'll pick up the rear of the field. NASCAR rules state, you bring out a caution or you're involved in a caution, you go to the rear of the field, even if one lap was not completed. Kirk Stewart picks up the pace once again out of corner number four. Green flag comes out. Kirk Stewart in the 43 taking the early advantage down the back straightaway. Danny Osborne in the car.
car number 72 running in that second position. Troy Bruder in the 37, looping over there, corner number three. Johnny Eckridge also making contact. Dave Eckridge in the car number 58 pulled off the back straight away. He took it into the pits. Once again, the caution light goes out. We'll be looking to go green this time around. <laughs> Kurt Stewart in the 43 will pick the pace up, coming out of the corner. Dean Howell gives them a green flag. We're back underway. Kurt Stewart, the car number 43 on the bottom side, taking the advantage down the back straightaway. Danny Osborne in the 72, looking on the high side, trying to take that position away. He's got a battle on his hand with the car number 42. Terry Schleppman trying to take that position away from Danny Osborne. Danny Osborne in the 72, running in that second position. Kurt Schlepp in the, Schleppman, excuse me, in the 42, running in that third position. Danny Eckridge looking on the inside, though, as they went into corner number one. will take it into the pits. Car cars are allowed to bring out two caution flags on their own in a racing event. If they bring out two caution flags, after the second one, they are asked to leave the track. Everybody back in their proper running order. Kurt Stewart, our leader, will set the pace coming out of corner number four. Dean Howell, check him over. Green flag comes out. We're back underway. Schleppman in the car number 42 running third. Terry Schleppman in the 42 now on the inside of the car number 72. Denny Osborne down the back straightaway in the corner number three. Terry 
Came, able to take that second position away from Osborne as they're coming out of corner number four. Seven laps coming this time by. We'll have seven laps down. Siski in the 52, finishing in the sixth position. Six of Joe Wyatt running in the seventh position. Excuse me, the 56 of Gary Webb running in the seventh position. Joe Kosiski in the 53, finishing in eighth. Rob Tolan finishes ninth. And Tom Hurst in the 90, finishing in 10th. Those are your top 10 finishers. They will transfer to the main event. Here 
winner, Quad City International Raceway Park qualifier number one out of Hemsworth, Iowa, driving the number 43X, Kurt Stewart. Out on the track now, Quad City International Raceway Park qualifier number two. At row number one will be the 2H of John Hempel. Outside, uh, row number one will be the 11M of Bill Martin. Inside, row number two will be the car number 33 of Rick Wenling. Outside, uh, row number two will be the car number five of Jay Johnson. Inside, row number three will be the T2 of Todd Bennett. Outside, row number three will be the car number 10. Excuse me, the 1D of Bob Dominecki. Inside, row number four will be the car number 99 of Johnny Johnson. Outside, uh, row number five will be the car number 22 of Donnie McCohen. Inside, row number six will be the 1X of Bob Helm. Outside, uh, row number six will be the car number 12. Your fast qualifier tonight, Ray Gus Jr. Inside, row number seven will be car number 70 of Steve Johnson. Outside, row number seven will be the car number 15 of Brian Burkhofer. Inside, row number eight will be car number eight of Sonny Finley. Outside, uh, row number eight will be car number 33X of Dan Gallen. Inside, row number nine will be the car number 26B of Steve Boley. Outside, uh, row number nine will be the car number 11, the 11X of Steve Imes. Inside, row number 10 will be the 08 of Terry Husel. And on the outside will be the car number 32 of Tom Cannon. Howell turns the yellow light out. We'll be looking for a green flag this time around. Everybody back in the proper lineup. Our pace van pulls off in the quarter mile. John Hempel picked the pace up. Green flag comes out. We're underway. in the 11M. John Hempel in the 2 doing battle for that first place position. Martin in the 11 on the high side. Hempel down on the bottom in the 2. Number 2 car. 
Come out of corner number four, side by side for that lead down the main straightaway into turn number one. Martin in the 11M trying to take the advantage down the back straightaway. He's able to take over that first place position. Put the tempo in the 2H back into second. Moving back to that third position. Battle for fourth between T2 and number 33. T2 running in that sixth position. Everybody's back in their proper lineup. We'll see if we can go green this time around. We've got five laps to go. That's what Ray Gus was looking for. A caution flag bunches them all up. Let's see if he can get around a couple of these cars. Green flag comes back out. Ragos will take it to the bottom in the corner number one. Right alongside Rick Wendling as they go down to corner number two down the back straightaway. Wendling and Gus side by side in the corner number three. 
Jay Johnson gets up alongside of Martin coming out of corner number four. That's a battle for the lead. Johnson in the five, able to take over that first position. Martin falling back to second. Campbell running third. Wendling in the 33, running fourth. Regus Jr. in the 12, running in that fifth position. Johnny Johnson in the 99s in the 10th position. Wendling now on the high side of Hempel as they come out of corner number two down the back straightaway. Wendling able to take a slight advantage into the third corner. Rick Wendling, car number 33. John Hempel in the 2H running side by side down the main straightaway into the first corner. Steve Foley in the 26 able to get around Johnson for that 10th and final transfer position. Foley and Johnson, 26 of Foley, 99 of Johnson, battling it out for that 10th and final transfer position. West Burlington, Iowa, is Jay Johnson, car number five, will pick up the white flag one more time around. Picking up, qualifying heat race number two, win. Kurt Martin in the 11 ammo, excuse me, Bill Martin in the 11 ammo, finish in second. Your winner, driving the car number five, Jay Johnson, running in second, the 11 M of Bill Martin, finishing in third in the car number 33 is Rick Wendling. Finishing fourth in the car number 12, your fast qualifier tonight, Ray Gus Jr. Running fifth in the 2-H, John Heppel. Finishing in sixth. Car number 15, Brian Burkhofer. Finishing in seventh, the T2 of Todd Bennett. Finishing in eighth place. Finishing in eighth place, 1D of Bob Dominecki. Running ninth, the 1X of Bob Hell. Finishing in tenth in your final transfer position into the main event. Car number 26, Steve Foley. Your winner for Qualifying E race number two, Quad City International Raceway Park sponsored qualifiers out of West Burlington, Iowa. Car number five of Jay Johnson. Getting ready to pull out on the track now. Bush All Star Tour consolation event, 12 laps. Top four finishers will transfer to the main event. Inside, a row number one will be the car number 45 of Kurt Martin. Outside, row number one will be the car number 99 of Johnny Johnson. Inside, row number two will be the third, 3X of Skip Fry. Outside, row number two will be the 33X of Dan Gallen. Inside, row number three will be the car number 44 of Nick Kuypers. Outside, row number three will be the car number 08 of Terry Husel. Inside, row number four will be the car number 68, 6H of Joe Wyatt. Outside, row number four will be the car number 11 of Steve Ein. Inside, row number five will be the car number 91 of Danny Ayers. 
Outside, row number five will be the car number 70 of Steve Johnson. Inside, row number six will be the car number 32 of Tom Cannon. Outside, row number six will be car number 80 of Scott Koskovich. And out in the back, all by himself, will be car number eight of Sonny Finley. Yellow lights out, we're looking for green. Dean Howe gives the green flag, we're racing. Johnny Johnson, the car number 99, jumping out through the early lane. Skip Fry in the number three, you're trying to take that second position. Skip Fry in the three X, now running second. Kurt Martin in the car number 45, running in that third position. Running in fourth in the final transfer spot, 33 X with Tom Gallon.
number 91 with Denny Ayers pulling off the track. Finishing fourth, 33X, Dan Gallen. Finishing third, car number 45, a Kurt Martin. Running in that second position. 3X, a Skip Fry, and your winner of the consolation out of West Burlington, Iowa, driving the car number 99, Johnny Johnson. Wave lap, stand up, let your favorite driver know that you're out there. Once again, 19 cars for 15 laps. Dan Reed turns the yellow light out time around, we'll be looking for a green flag. Kenny Constabator, Rich Lewis, front row. Rich Lewis, Kenny Constabator, pick the pace up, out of quarter number four. Green flag comes out, we're underway. Lewis in the 72, taking the advantage. Kenny gonna jump on the bottom side, skates up the track a little bit. Allowing Brad DeBill in the 89 to move up into that second position. Kenny Constabator slipping back to third. Tim Bauer in the zero, running fourth, but Hamburg on the 57, looking on the outside. Constabator up, stirring the dust up by the wall. Lewis from 72 holding on to our lead. Brad DeBill in the 89 running back. Three dollars. The yellow light goes out. We'll be looking to go green next time around. Sweater 50 50, Jim Strawhacker. Green flag comes back out, Brad DeBill. Holding on to the lead as they go into corner number one. Kenny Consumator in the 33, still running in that second position. Tim Hamburg in the 57, running third. Robbie Verbeck running him down, down the back straightaway in the corner number three. Verbeck in the 60, now looking to the high side in three and four. Verbeck up along the wall. Yellow light comes out once again. Got a 6M on Norfolk Kent Street. 
fun over there too. Ron Barker in the 37B, we're running in that seventh position. Once again, the 50-50 ticket winner was Jim Strawhacker. Yellow lights out once again. Brad DeBille will take him into corner number three and four. Dan Reed checking him over, out of four. Green flag comes out, we're back to racing. Burbeck jumping on the inside of Hamburg as they go into corner number one. They'll stack up three wide. Costumator in the 33 on the outside will come out in that second position. Hamburg and Burbeck will pull even down the bank straight away for that third position. Hamburg in the 57 on the outside. Burbeck in the 60 on the inside. Coming up on the back bumper Costumator, they'll stack them. Costumator able to hold on to that second position. Tim Hamburg still running third. Burbeck in the 60, running him down once again, down the back straightaway. Touching bumpers into corner number three. Coming up there to make it a three-way battle for that third position. He's on the inside of Burbeck. Barker in the 37B. Hamburg slipping up high. Allowing Barker to scoot underneath, trying to make it too wide down the straightaway. Barker taking it to the bottom side underneath a Hamburg in corner number one. Ron Barker taking third place as he goes into corner number three. Moving Hamburg back to that fourth position. Ron Burbeck slipping back to fifth. Battle for sixth. Harry Piper alongside of Tim Bauer as they go into corner number one for that sixth position. Piper on the bottom, Bauer up high. Piper able to take that position away as they come out of corner number two and down the bank straight away. Ron Barker now reeling in. Kenny Costumator in that 33 for that second position. Barker down on the bottom side as they come down the straightaway. Costumator able to hold him off though. Barker looks to the inside once again in corner number one and two. Yellow light comes out. Got a car in the wall in turn number three. Got a car in the corner number three wall. Appears to be the double zero of Josh Vintage. Dan Reed gives him the signal for one more lap around. We'll get back to green flag racing. the bill takes the group into corner number three and four picks up the pace Dan Reed checks him over green flag comes back out we're underway Ron Barker looking to the inside of Kenny Costumator as they go into corner number one Costumator in the 33 on the high side Baker down on the bottom in that 37B Costumator able to hold him off down the back straightaway Kenny now trying to reel in our leader Brad DeBille Kenny going around on the high side. 
That's a battle for the lead. Costabater up top in the 33. Brad to Bill down on the bottom. Bumper to bumper as they go into corner number one. Costabater still up top. Costabater getting a run off of corner number two. Yellow light comes out. Got a car looped up in corner number four once again. Dan Reed gives him the signal for one more round. Kenny Costabater was mounting the charge up on the high side in that second position. See if he can mount another one here on the lead car. Brad DeBill picks the pace up out of corner number four. Green flag comes back out. Kenny Costabater running in that second position. Trying to mount a charge up on the high side. Brad DeBill is lead out a little bit. Kenny Costabater running in that second position. Ron Parker in the 37B. Down on the bottom side running third. Parker now alongside of Kenny as they come down the main straightaway into corner number one. Parker on the inside, Costabater up high. Kenny able to outmotor him, gets a little better bite. Parker off the pace into the infield. Brad DeBill still holding on to the lead. Kenny Costabater running in that second position. Robbie Verbeck now holding on to third. Gary Piper in the 55, running in fourth. Kim Bauer in the zero, running in fifth. Stretching his lead out. comes out. 72, Rich Lewis looping it over in corner number four. Brings the caution flag out. Got 12 laps down. Brad DeBill, car number 89, still holding on to the lead. Kenny Costabater in the 33, not able to mount a challenge that time. Robbie Verbeck in the number 60, running in third. Jerry Piper in the 55 moves up to fourth. Tim Bauer in the zero running in that fifth position. Tim Hamburg in the 57 running in that fourth, sixth position. Rob Tolan, 9B, moves up to seventh. The yellow lights out once again. Back forms up behind Brad DeBill. They're gonna see if they can mount any type of challenge here. Three laps to go. Come off a of corner four, green flag comes out. We're back to racing. Brad DeBill stretches his lead back out. Kenny Costabater. Sitting pretty nice in that second position. He's got a few car lengths over Robbie Verbeck in that third position. Brad 
Brad DeBell bring it out of corner number four to pick the white flag up. One lap to go. We got two cars looped out in corner number four. Amber comes to a stop. Mike Gill comes to a stop. goes out once again. We're gonna go green, white, checkered. Brad DeBill, car number 89, picks the throttle up. Out of corner number four, Dan Reed gives him the green flag. Brad DeBill takes it into corner three and four. To come off, pick the white flag up. One lap to go. Battle for fifth. Rob Tolan in the 19th. Hit Mauer on the outside in the zero. Brad DeBill brings that Ford-powered automobile off the corner, picking up the modified feature event. Kenny Costabater will finish in second. Roddy Verbeck will run third. Terry Piper will finish in fourth. Rob Dolan in the 9P finishing in that fifth position. Your winner, car number 89, Brad DeBill. Stand up and let your favorite drivers know you're out there. Send them off in the proper way. 26 of the top drivers in the country out here to do battle for 50 laps for your racing enjoyment. Let them hear you. How many Steve Kosiski fans do we have out there? How many think he can win it tonight? Got Gary Webb in the 56 sitting in that second row. How many Webb fans do we have? Fast qualifier, he's sitting back in the third row outside. Ray Gus Jr. Back in their two by two position. Base band pulls off in the quarter mile. Yellow lights out. We're getting set for 50 laps. Exciting dirt racing action at its best. NASCAR Bush all tour. Out of quarter number four. Dan Howell gives him the green flag and we're racing. Is 
Comiskey, car number 52, able to take the advantage and down the back straightaway. 21, Lenny Myers running in that second position, slips up high, allows the one car underneath him. Webb now going to look underneath, coming down the main straightaway. Webb will fall in behind him into that fourth position. Webb now looking underneath of him, coming out of corner number three. Webb not able to get the traction, slips back to that fourth position. Ray Gus Jr. side by side with car number 53 at Joe Kosinski for that fifth position. Right on the back bumper of Gary Webb. Holding on to the lead. Bob Helm running in that second position. Joe Kaczynski now looking to the inside of Gary Webb out of the corner. Kaczynski will slip by and move up into that fourth position. Moving Webb back to fifth. Now Ray Gus Jr. now looking to the outside of Webb. Trying to take that fifth position away out of the fourth corner. Webb able to hold him off once again. Down the straightaway into the first corner. Ray Gus Jr. now on the high side of Webb as they come out of corner number two. Webb in the 56, slipping back one more position. Ray Gus Jr. moving up to fifth. Ray Gus now going to go hunt for that fourth place position. Kaczynski now on the inside. Of Meyer, side by side, down the back straightaway. Kaczynski on the inside, Meyer on the outside. In the corner number three, they're still even. Ray Gus sitting back there waiting for one of them to slip so he can pounce on him. Kaczynski able to take the advantage down into corner number one. Kaczynski, car number 53, moves up to that third position. Ray Gus now going to look on the inside of Myers as they're in the corner number three. He'll look to the high side now. Ray Gus Jr. up top. Lynn Myers down on the bottom. Myers able to hold him off out of the fourth corner down the main straightaway. Ray Gus Jr. now on top once again, trying to pull him down the back straightaway. Ray Gus able to slip by him in the corner number three, moving him up to that fourth position. Myers slipping back to fifth. again 
and down on the bottom side in corner number two. Myers able to get a fight coming out of the corner. Pulls an advantage down into three. Krasinski's got his nose up there, though. Side by side, they stack, stack up three wide in corner number two. Ray Gus Jr. on the top. Krasinski now on the bottom side. Put Myers back to fourth. Ray Gus Jr. battling for that second position. He knows his way around this track. He won the United States Modified Series race here a couple weeks ago. Gus Jr. now looking to the inside of Krasinski, going into corner number one. Ray Gus Jr. taking over the lead out of corner number two. Gus Jr., your fast qualifier, now taking over the lead, moving Steve Kaczynski back to second. Joe Kaczynski running in that third position. Fires running fourth. Bob Helm running in fourth in the 1X. Fires running fifth. Jr., our leader, he's going to try to check out. to get the T2 car, Todd Bennett, in front of Kurt Martin there. Looks like we got everybody back in the proper lineup. Pace fan pulls off the track, yellow lights out. Back to green flag action here. Ray Gus picks the pace up. Green flag comes out, we're back to racing action. Kosinski in the 53 jumps inside of Steve Kosinski, trying to take that second position away from him. Yellow light comes out once again. goes out. Ray Gus will take the field in the corner number three and four. Dean Howell checks him over. 
Green flag comes out once again. Joe Kosinski once again jumping inside of Steve, trying to take that second position away from him.
20 to go. Ray Gus Jr. still holding on to a big advantage. Running in second, Steve Kaczynski. Joe Kaczynski right there for that third place position. Bob Helm running fourth. Gary Webb running in that fifth position. Jay Johnson running sixth. to go. 
Jones. Jay Johnson finish, finishing in that fourth position out of Bluegrass, Iowa, driving for Larry Mooring out of Forreston, Illinois, car number 56 of Gary Webb, running in that third position out of Omaha, Nebraska, driving car number 52, Steve Kosiski, running third, also out of Omaha, Nebraska, car number 53, a Joe Kosiski, and your winner out of Milan, Illinois, driving car number 12, Ray Gus Jr. Here he 
is, ladies and gentlemen, your winner out of Milan, Illinois, car number 12, Regus Jr. Let's give him a round of applause.